<laughs> Hello everybody, welcome to James Bond, uh, Agent Under Fire. I do not have my GameCube controller plugged in. What is this madness? Uh, this might end up being a fuck up. I forgot I didn't even have my controller plugged in. Let me just, uh, come on. Ugh. Let's get this in there. Come on. There. Smash that controller in there. Alright. So anyway, this is James Bond. Agent Under Fire. Oh, it's still gonna be glitchy as fuck. Okay. Whatever. Fuck it. Alright. So we're gonna make a new save file. Hopefully this, uh, series isn't a complete flop because, uh, I fixed it, technically. <laughs> uh, so many games have just been a complete jumbled mess of shit. But I think, finally, for once, we might be able to get some games to work. <laughs> Uh, today for me has been absolutely terrible. Anyway, I've tried to play this game on harder difficulties, but literally no matter what I do, I have to play on operative. I just cannot beat this game on hard difficulties. So, fuck it. Blech. So the story is that, um, there's clones and shit. There you go. <laughs> uh, if you want a more detailed look at this game, look up Calvin Dyson. He, uh, he reviews Bond everything. He's reviewed pretty much Bond, James Bond, I don't know, everything. <laughs> so it's whatever. So we're gonna hop into this place. It's nice and, shut up, RQ, QRQ. <laughs> yeah, okay, whatever. Uh, you open up with this Q device, but if you hit left and right on the D-pad, you can switch to your Q sub gadgets. Put this little nifty remote, and then up on the D-pad lets you uh, hit up these, um, Hit up these, um... Oh wow, that doesn't lag anymore. Yeah, I don't think the game lags anymore. PAUNCH! Wow, this game is like, freaking running buttery smooth. Jesus Christ. Yeah, making that one modification just fixed everything. Da -da 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 -da. There you go. So, uh, we're gonna hit up the uh, key card. Boop. Banana! We're gonna hit up the Q laser up over there, but let's get our gun, grab some grenades, and this rocket launcher. There you go. Jump. See, I love this game, but I'm not very good at it. Because when I start having to fight enemies, that's when I start to suck at this game. Alright, so we're going to try to do two levels an episode. Uh, so he's going to go over there. Kablamo. Wow, that's... Absolutely seamless. Shut up. Okay, there you go. Q laser. Hit up with Q laser, and we're going to go over here. Boop -boop 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 -boop. See, this is the easy part. The hard part comes later. Like, even this level has some difficulties. Hit the deck! What the fuck? Shoot it. God damn crosshair. Bam! These people are absolutely pathetic. There you go, KS7. There you go, grab some some machine gun action. So that guy fidgets around for a little bit. Uh so we've got these dude bros coming in. So you just crouch behind this box. And they go, you went this way. And clearly, you know what? I didn't. There's four dudes. Three. Four dude bros. And you gotta make sure that you don't you don't play yourself. And there you go. Alright, sweet. There you go. <laughs> yeah, it freezes you in midair. Security personnel to the cultivation area. This area sucks. It's so bad. Because they do this. You wouldn't believe how bad it is playing this at five frames per second like I did before. No! Oh, fuck! Oh! Oh, hell no! Oh, God, no! Oh, Jesus Christ, no! Oh, fuck, no! What? <laughs> there was a random grenade! There was a grenade! Jesus! Oh, my God! Screw you! Stop throwing grenades at me. Okay, you got a shotgun, so stop it. Okay. Boop, and... 
fuck! <laughs> this screen just... Whoa. There are some, uh... Issues with this place. Holy fuck. Alright, we're gonna hit up this pistol. We're gonna hit up the pistol. Then, I've located the vials Nightshade was looking for. Now I just need to find Nightshade herself. I'm totally not any James Bond actor at all. <laughs> yeah, like, all the other, um... All the other James Bond games, like, that came out in this period, like, um... They made sure that he looked like Pierce Brosnan. This one, nope, nope. Like, well, I mean, Pierce Brosnan, if applicable. You know, because there are some James Bond games that are weird. Anyway, let's look at our... One of our two main antagonists. This is Nigel Block, he's dumb. But look, he doesn't look anything like Pierce Brosnan. And that's Zoe Nightshade. She's the love interest, and she's meh. Great parents who lost their sob. Yeah, basically they want her to drown to death, which, you know, doesn't make any sense at all. But then she looked at you and she's like, Aah! So he's like, eh, whatever. So anyway, then this guy is just chilling, which, uh, yeah, which either you can just run up and they'll speak, then they'll spot you, or you can shoot him. Or not. Or you can shoot him. <laughs> He'll hit this thing and fall down. And they can go over. And then you can go where he was, grab his sniper rifle, and they'll see you no matter what you do, so fuck it. At this point, you may as well go uh, guns a blazing. Speaking of guns a blazing, more like guns explosion! <laughs> fuck you, you idiots. I'm playing strategic, lady. I just. Fucking, you know, I'm using the bombs to my advantage. All right, now I'm not gonna fucking, I'm not gonna dick around. Let's bring out the submachine gun. I know. Fuck. That's what I was worried about. Was that guy spawning on my dick? All right, there you go. Okay, there we go. Shit. Fuck. Ass balls. Okay, right, here we go. Boo, 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 boo. Blast this guy in the face. Blast this guy in the fuck. Fuck you, you get an explosion, is what you get. I like the submachine gun. Why did I never value this gun when I was a kid? I don't know, usually I just whip out the shotgun. Yeah, the sniper, they ain't no quick scoping in this game. I mean, it's just, uh. Can, can you cap her in the face? If you can do. If, kabam. Yeah, you'd rather have that rather than the intervention sound when Pokemon die. Nah. Well, actually, when anything dies. Thank you. Thank you. There you go. So, we broke a free! Yay! Wow, we can totally play another level. See, unlike the first take, where it took me 20 minutes to beat the first stage. And that was on Agent difficulty. I tried going on double O Agent, and just... Oh, God, it's so painful. So you get the golden gun. Eh, I didn't feel like waiting, wasting my time. Good work on your successful infiltration of the research facility, Bond. There you go. So this is not actually a um shooter level. Rather, it's an on-rail stage. <laughs> yeah, there's three types of gameplay. Yes, this level loaded. Thank God. But the audio broke. <laughs> oh, it's running at 10 frames a second. Okay, I guess we're skipping the cutscenes. Fuck it. And it broke. Ow! Fuck! Helicopters! Wow, these levels are real. Wow, these levels are really prone to lag. Jesus Christ. I don't know if that's gonna be due to OBS being a fucking. Drive in a straight line! Attempt to drive in a straight line. Are they? I don't know, I kind of can't distinguish them between the INNOCENT CIVILIANS! There you go. Fuck. Get out of here. If only the freaking car didn't sway back and forth. I don't- Alright, that fan- I- I know, that's literally what I was about to say. You had to aim for the tires to make everything work. See, that's what you get for listening to the lady. 
That guy's long dead. Or not, another guy just shows up because fuck you. Uh, is there other... Other... Fuck. Oh yeah, can't you spin around in a circle by hitting B? I think so. I don't know, I'm gonna blow up this car first. Yep, yes you can. Yeah, I don't know why an on-rails section was necessary in a James Bond game, but whatever. I don't know if there was a section like this in GoldenEye, because this was the latest James Bond game after GoldenEye, which, you know. James, there's a ahead. Which is why I'm still gonna gun those guys down anyway. <laughs> I love how these people just instantly, like, magnetize to the wall. Good thing there's explosive crates everywhere, Zoe. Literally, there's no reason to be worried. Oh, you're supposed to go over there. Okay. Wasn't there a helicopter here? Yeah, there's that helicopter there, but I can... Oh, there's a car? What the fuck? Oh, I clearly capped that innocent civilian in the skull. And yet. Are we going to the gas station already? Let's pick that guy. Let's just pick him off. Okay, there you go. Let's make these turns, quick turns. James, there's a ahead. You, you literally just said that. Uh, if, well, actually, you don't need to slow down. What you actually have to do is, um, kab kablamo. You said, like, seven things at once, Zoe. Oh, if the on-rails levels are this bad, then goddamn would I hate to see the f driving stages. It's that building straight ahead of us, Zoe. Why don't we drop in for a visit? Alright, pretty much the rest of this is just picking off enemies. There we go. Gotcha. Yeah, I'll try to play three levels an episode, which, as a kid, I could never beat the third stage. <laughs> uh, up until I learned how to play video games the right way, and then, uh, everything became possible. Like, just letting you know, I'm probably better at melee than I am this game, and I fucking suck at melee. So, whatever. Alright, so, first you're supposed to shoot, uh, this thingy. Just so that I'll be primed and ready before I, uh, hit that kablamo, because, gosh dang, I need to. Who's still shooting at me? Oh, okay. Get out of my way. Kablam. There we go. There we go. Grab those vials. It's going up, but you're not doing anything, so fuck it. Okay, so the pre-rendered cutscenes slow to a crawl, but the in-game ones apparently work out. Alright, so fuck it. You just get your car here. You get the super cool car. But... You're fucking weird. I gotta unlock the golden rocket launcher. I broke the music, apparently. So, uh, basically what happens is that, uh, some chick, yeah, this chick, uh, Carla the Jackal, I believe her name is, she goes in, swoops down, and grabs your vials out of your hands. Uh, ew. Cutscenes. Bleh. Sexual briefcase that contains the vials is equipped with the locating beacon 007. The arrow How do you... will enable you to track it. Okay, R... Okay, I'm definitely gonna need that. How do you switch weapons? Okay. Okay, R accelerates, and then Y switches weapons, and A activates them. Cool. Ugh. 
Pew! Banana! Okay, well, I need to see, I need to see more of the level. Ow! Yeah, I'm probably gonna need to restart this level more than once. I didn't get the bond move, but who gives? Who cares? Those blips on your radar indicate special modifications I've developed for your vehicle, Double M7. Yeah, basically what you have to do is find this armored van, and instead of blowing it up like a crazed maniac, you want to uh, use that Q-Pulse weapon, which uh, has charge up, but if you get close enough to the car, God, get the fuck out of my way, uh, then uh, at some point you uh, get stuff. <laughs> uh, you beat the level if you Q-Pulse it. Q-Pulse the van over there, which is over here, so I'm going to try to just get it in one solid, one solid run. There you go. No. The vials have been transferred to that armored van. It is imperative that we recover them. No! Fuck! Uh, I'm gonna restart. I'm gonna restart the level. Oh, cool. Alright. Okay, yeah, I'm basically just gonna reset if I don't get it immediately because fucking it's a waste of time trying to find another cupels. Okay, what the fuck? Oh fuck, they're still shooting at me. What the hell? Okay. Fuck you. Oh Jesus. Fucking let's just Fucking let's go get suicidal now, will we? <laughs> fuck. Hold on. Fuck you. What the hell? Damn you, kill pulse. You get inside my car. Go. All right. Friggin' rocket. Rocket. Wow, I'm just playing on garbage now. <laughs> I'm playing so bad. I'm playing so bad. It's one of my favorite games. and It's one of my favorite games. Yeah, I suck so bad at it. <laughs> it's so... I suck so bad at it. It doesn't play like conventional shooters. Like, it doesn't. Like, Jesus Christ. I, I want to go to a friend's house just so I can play Black Ops 3. <laughs> like, honestly, I don't know. Comparing, like, Call of Duty's playability to something like this, it's like, this takes skill to, 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 to master. Alright, here we go. The to nah, I don't give a fuck. Kaboom! We're done! Fuck you, it's over. Ba boom. Second try. So all it does is go in and takes the vials. Bada bang, bada boom. Yeah, this game is not advisable to emulate on Dolphin. Buy a real copy. They're probably not expensive at all. There we go. Uh, I have never, ever, ever, ever... Really? I got the gold medal? I've gotten three gold medals in a row! And I'm good at bad diplomacy. I am going to... Am I honestly going to 100%? Am I going to get gold medals in all freaking three of all four of these levels? Jesus Christ. Yeah, I think after bad diplomacy, just the gold medal targets just get insane. So, anyway, next time. Excuse me. Jesus. Next time on uh, 007 Ancient Under Fire, we are going to play bad diplomacy, uh, cold reception, and night of the jackal. I'm pretty sure those are the levels. Anyway, I'll see you all next time. Only you can prevent forest fires.